No, just uh, obviously excited for Coach Kleiman and his group. Good win against West Virginia. Obviously, uh, they they got a big, big game against Baylor. Uh, Coach Fritz gets a, a split up in Iowa State, so she's got a good finish ahead of her, and and we're just kind of getting going. It seemed – I'm not sure if I loved the one game and a week off and then – uh, but, you know, coming up, we got a, a, a big stretch with a bunch of games. So hopefully the extra practice time, um, you had the exhibition and the, uh, the scrimmage the exhibition and then the, the game over about a three week period. And in between you, you watch film and learn about your team and hopefully make some progress. That's the most important thing. By no means were we perfect last week. Um, uh, but I think we learned something from it, and we had a, a pretty good week of practice. Uh, Davion is getting back. I wouldn't say he's uh, 100 by 100 percent by any means, but uh, you know he's he's got a little more conditioning. Uh, we tried to do because we had the whole week to to simulate some game up and down on Saturday and Sunday, and then back yesterday back to um, starting our prep for open. Omaha and um, a little more half court stuff and 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 then today finish your prep and and you know but the the most important thing they they have to see what we have to improve obviously turnovers is a big thing uh, being a little more patient and get, making the, the extra pass on offense to give us a chance to I I really believe we're good shooters and and but you got to get you got to work to help each other get good shots and then. Sh- I think our uh, shore up uh, some of our uh, defensive uh, concepts and understanding uh, to, you know, the big thing is get consistent because you got one, you got this game here at home and then uh, obviously you're, you're going to face some pretty good competition in Kansas city uh, next Monday and Tuesday. Thank you, coach. Uh, First question to Kellis Robinette. Hey, Bruce, you mentioned it there a second ago, but Davion, just how limited limited was he last week and how much further along is he right now? Well, he hadn't practiced in about 10 days. And, and you know, he he got the first day, we let him shoot and kind of just, you know, bike and run around. The second day, he got involved a little bit in some live action, and and that was just kind of in and out. So, you know, he, he probably played a few more minutes than we even thought, but you know, it, it was hopefully good for him. And um, we did kind of a simulation of a full game on Saturday. Um, and he actually had to take himself out. He couldn't, he couldn't get through the whole thing. So, but I, I, I think it was good for him to push himself uh, to get, get his wind going again. Obviously when you're dealing, you deal with pneumonia, you're dealing with your lungs and, and, you know, the lungs are the thing that's going to it's going to take for a while for him to recover. Uh, we'll watch his minutes and uh, see how he's doing. But he, he needs to get, uh, you know, he's probably I know he's a key piece for us, you know, to give us some depth. Obviously, his length, if get back playing the way he was at the end of last year, um, it would really benefit us in, in the long run. That's not the biggest deal in the world, but do you think he'll be ready to start? I, I mean, he's not going to start, but uh, I mean, Casey's done very well. He's out, he's outplayed him in a lot of the uh, different segments throughout this early practice. And but again, we've talked about you know the starting lineup now might not be the same starting lineup in December um, or even to January. I think that's going to be evolving. I think I hope it's the strength of our team that we got a lot of different pieces and. Um, I, I, I hope they keep pushing each other and we all keep improving and, and we have to worry about, you know, the minutes and, and making sure everyone gets good minutes. I, I, I talked to the coaches. It's a, it's a challenge, especially with the guards um, to kind of keep watching them, keep them fresh, keep them rotated, keep them playing well. But at the same time, you know, they want to get their rhythm, you know, guys want to get their rhythm and they want those extra minutes. So but we're telling them use your minutes and, and, and do well, and then uh, play to exhaustion. And if you do that, you got a, you got a chance to be successful and, and help our team.
I also wanted to ask on, on rewatch of that last game, were you impressed with uh, your team's ball movement at times? It seemed like there were a couple of situations where they had the hockey assist to create some really open shots. And that's been our big emphasis, you know, help. First of all, being happy for your teammates when they have success. Second of all, um, you know, helping your teammate get a good shot. I said it earlier. I think one of the, I think we're good shooters. I know we're good shooters. I've watched us in practice, but we got to get good shots and, and we don't have to make a play for ourselves every time we touch it. I think we have, I know we have more playmakers than we did a year ago that can make some plays, but they got to realize we don't have to make a play uh, for you, for yourself in the first 15, 20 seconds of the shot clock. You know, those are, that's for the end of the shot clock. And those are, you know, we're going to need those big baskets, but at the same time, let's work to get good shots. Uh, I thought, the last couple of days, actually, uh, we've had even better ball movement and than you, we did against uh, Florida A and M. It, the, it, when we get moving the ball, we got a lot of weapons. We got a lot of more guys that can dribble and pass than we had a year ago, and and hopefully more guys that can shoot. So I, I I'm hoping that's a major weapon for us, but we're going to have to do it in the game and do it consistently. All right, thanks, Bruce. Yep. Uh, next question to Mitch Fortner. Yeah, coach. Um, with Selton Miguel, he was a huge part of that second half in creating that lead. Are you still comfortable with him coming off the bench and sticking with that lineup? I, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I, you know, he um, when we scrimmaged Oregon, he started. Um, you know, some of the other guys did a little better in, than him in that one. So, and then practice. So the next one. Uh, he didn't start, so he he stepped up and did some good things in the second half. Um, again, it's it's uh, you know, I just had a high school. I was talking with a high school player the other. Well, you know, it's it's hard doing coming off the bench and like. Well, I think sometimes that's more mental than physical. You know, you're if you're going to get the same number of minutes, what's what's the difference? I know it's, it's a little bit of an ego part of it, but. Um, you know, we'll just see how it all kind of rotates, but I was happy for Selton. He was very efficient in the second half, obviously made some big plays. And then if you remember a year ago, he was the one to hit the three against Omaha for us to find a way to get a victory against them. So, um, and I just want them all to make progress and figure out what the, the best unit, uh, to start and who's going to come in and give us good, uh, good scoring off the bench and, uh, and, and, and I guess in the long run, keep them all happy and moving forward in the right direction. Yeah. You mentioned Omaha, which leads into my last question here about, you know, that was such a close game last year, a two point win for your team. And even though you, you, you got a different team this year, it seems like Omaha has a lot of the same pieces. So what are your thoughts and concerns about this game on uh, tomorrow? Well, actually, the couple new guys, the freshman is, is their leading scorer, uh, Frankie. And then, uh, you know, they've added the, the big guy from Wichita, Poor Bear Chandler, uh, who, you know, was, a, you know, played at Wichita and had success. We've known him. He came to camp here years ago with his high school team. And, uh, you know, those two guys. And then, you know, role played last year and a couple of the other guys. Gave them some, gave them some minutes. They did lose their point guard who was hurt us uh, last year, but uh, you know, they coach does a good job. Uh, they execute, um, they run good stuff. They, you know, you kind of know what they're going to run, but now you're going to have to stop it. Uh, you know, the, the, their ball state game was just crazy. I mean, they're, they get down what 27, 28 or something. And, come back and they have they're down two and have three three possessions to win the game or or take the lead um so that's you know they i think they show you they are explosive offensively and have a lot of different weapons so i you know it, it's uh, you know a good game for us for the most part it looks like they'll play man um you know we're gonna if they do get it inside we're gonna have to do this would be a good test for our big guys to stay out of foul trouble with uh, you know with Chandler, um, and and even their backup big is 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 uh, can score inside and make some plays. So this, well, they'll test us. It it's good for us, and you know we'll 
hopefully make some progress and be a little more consistent than we were last week. Thank you, coach. Uh, next question to Wyatt Thompson. Coach, we're still learning really about the three transfer kids uh, for the most part. I'm wondering if you feel like what we've seen so far out of Mark is, is kind of what you hope to get uh, every night out. Well, I, I've said since the beginning, uh, Mark is very, very physical. He's much more athletic uh, than I than I even imagined. Obviously, he is older. Uh, he's been through the wars at two different high level programs, uh, you know, and we've emphasized to him, you know, he he came in, you know, had well, he was one of the leaders, leading three point shooters in the country. One of the years coming up, um, you know, we knew he could shoot the basketball. Um, the, the big thing as practices evolve, like go rebound. And he's done that for us. He's, I think he's our, I'm pretty sure he's our leading rebounder. Um, you know, so that gives us a versatile, you know, kind of wing guy. Uh, he is strong going to the hoop. Um, I think the thing he can make some progress and part of the reason, you know, he thought he wanted to come here was to give him the ball a little more and, make decisions and you know that's with all of them they all want the ball and and you know but they got to make good decisions and that I think that'll be the next step for him I really think he can be a good defensive player also he's got a he's got a good body um the the part you know we've talked about it before just breaking some habits uh, or different habits that that he had from some of the other defensive concepts compared to ours we do a little some different things and if he can get a little better off the ball I think that's going to help him also you know with with Marquise I, he's just slowly but surely um, learning he wants to learn he wants to be part of it. he's trying to do what we ask he's had a, a really good couple of days of practice uh, now go on the court and not you know I think with him sometimes overdo it you know just let it come and then Ish is just go, we got to figure out how to get him good shots because he can shoot the basketball. And they're all kind of figuring out, as you, you said, we're all figuring it out and learning. It's only been, you know, a scrimmage, an exhibition, and a game. And, uh, you know, you it, you now slowly but surely our team will evolve and, and their role in that team will, will become more prominent. Appreciate it. Uh, next question to Grant Flanders. Hey, Coach, um, since you just talked about Marquise, I'll ask about him first. You know, I thought from the exhibition to the first game, he seemed to clean a lot of things up. Uh, was that something he focused a lot in practice and what you guys harped on, or how did that work? Yeah, I, I, you know, there's no doubt. And, again, I just mentioned he wants to do better. He wants to be part of it. He wants to have success. He's trying to do what we asked. Um, again, he had – I mean, he, when you get, we signed him, you guys talked about him, you know, with me and, and just – you know, he had a lot of freedom, you know, with at his and when he came from Little Rock, uh, you know, he could make big plays. Uh, and and I've said since the beginning, he's very dynamic, but I also need him to be solid because we we don't need six, six assists, but six turnovers. We don't need, you know, four for 15 and, you know, whatever we we need. You know, if you're going to be a good team, you got to be efficient. The best players are efficient and consistent. So. He, he's he's had some good days of practice. I put him in uh, once every four or five days. I put him and Nigel together uh, on a on a team and practice. And um, he they really had a big day the other day with them when they were together, uh, playing off each other, finding each other, and and that was that was positive for us. And then I want to ask about Luke, um, you know, struggle, it seems like, in the exhibition and uh, the first game. Is he coming along in practice? How is he doing in practice? <laughs> well, I told you guys that he was probably the biggest surprise, and he, he had been playing really well and consistent. As soon as I opened my mouth, he, he, he hit some struggles. So, um, you know, I, and, and again, I don't, I don't want to put pressure on him, and, you know, but he has, he's been consistent for us, and, and he – he know, you know, his thing, I think with like a lot of guys know what you can do and, and do it well, you know, and that, that's the big key with him. Uh, you know, I, I, we all feel comp 
confident with him going in. He can give us some good minutes. Um, you know, again, he's not going to be the point guard. He's not going to be the playmaker, but he does some other things really well. And, uh, you know, I, I, I hope he has a little more confidence. And, you know, I, when I tell the guys, this is what I need out of you. When Luke, I always say mojo, I need him to feel good about himself. And if he does that, I know he'll be a good player. And then the last thing I got is, do you have a Carlton Lingard injury update? Yeah, he's actually got in practice a couple days this week. So um, there's been a Carlton sighting, and that's a good thing uh, for us. Um, I'm, I'm, and for him, I, I'm happy. Just, I mean, you know, we tease him a little bit. You ever going to come back? And, you know, this and that. But, uh, you know, he – we, we included him on scout squad. So we actually got in a little bit of live stuff and uh, you know, his thing is he just, he said, I don't want to screw things up coach. And I like, well, unless you get out there and start playing, you're not going to know or not. So that, you know, again, he's not a real confident kid. He's been out, you know, pretty much a year and a half for the most part uh, in and out. So it's, you know, he's going to make mistakes. He's going to, but, you know, he could add a different dimension and really there's no doubt he could help us in practice. Uh, do you think, do you know how soon you think you'll get him back into the lineup or would it be instantly? Well, or it, be on the lineup? I mean, he hasn't done any, I'm, you're talking two or three days, you know, this is, you know, you're going back to last, uh, whatever it, it was probably, I can't remember which game he hurt his knee, but you know, it goes back to last probably February. So you know, he's going to need, need some days of practice. Um, you know, now, you know, we got a bunch of games coming up. So uh, we're going to slow, you know, kind of grab him, do some individual workouts, and then just see if we can get him back involved. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate it. Yeah. Any other call or questions for Coach? I think I've gotten to everybody that's asked for questions, but before I let him go. Why it is stand up or did he just not take oh, it down? He just hasn't taken it down. That's uh, okay. Unless Wyatt has a quite another question. I think I'm okay for now though. I'm sorry about that. I did miss yeah. it, didn't I? Uh, coach, I have one just as a general thought uh, or question about, uh, we didn't talk very much about Casey the other night. Uh, but uh, a nice line. Uh, he had three assists, I think, which is a career high. Uh, uh, can you? Uh, he didn't get really a lot of talk, but he. Yeah. I think he performed well in 18 minutes. Had the best plus minus on the team. Uh, maybe an update on Casey and his progress. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up because that you know that went a little bit untalked about. He he was plus 18, uh, which means when he was in. There we did okay, and he he was pretty effective. Um, obviously, he, he very very driven. His knee he knows is not what it you know at one time it was, but uh, you know he because of his intelligence, his dedication, his commitment to wanting to be a good player. Um, you know I I think he can be really helpful for us. He he's got to make his free throws and he's got to finish some of those baskets around the hoop. But um, he's physical. He he's uh, you know he still has. He says he doesn't have his athleticism, but I still think he has. Some, I believe he has some some pop in you know in the, in his legs. Um, you know we get get a couple shot blocks from him in practice, which is which is nice. Uh, you know I hope gives him a little more confidence. Uh, but uh, you know I feel really good about and you know if we can get Davion back. Uh, you got a pretty good two-headed monster with that big, big position, maybe Logan a few minutes here and there, and, and then uh, Carlton down the road. So we ho hopefully have pretty good depth at that, uh, at that center position.